Hey, I'm Lauren coming to you from my bedroom with a nice cup of tea to wherever you might be. And I am so excited to be kicking off the spring virtual meetup. There's so many brilliant sessions for you to look forward to for you and your baby. But this first session is going to be all about you. I'm going to be sharing some super quick and easy makeup and skincare tips for those mornings where you don't have much time, but you need a few tricks up your sleeve to help you look and feel less tired. This isn't about the products that I'm using and I'm not going to use a single brush. This is all about minimum effort, maximum effect. Starting off then with some really simple skincare. Now there are many mornings where I skip makeup if I'm in a rush, but I never skip skincare. It can be really quick and easy, which often has to be in the morning, starting with a cleanse. So here I'm using a cleansing oil, which is great for all skin types. It's just so fast and really gentle, just massaging it into dry skin. And then when you splash it off with water or use a wet flannel, all that oil will turn to milk. These are really good in the evening too, because they take all your makeup off in one go. If your skin is dry, you might prefer to use a cream cleanser or a balm. And if your skin is oily, you might prefer like a foaming face wash. Whatever you do, just make sure your skin is nice and clean before you apply anything else. Once my skin's all fresh and clean, we're ready to hydrate. So I tend to use masks and serums and things like that more in the evening when I have time. In the morning, I'm straight into eye cream. So an eye cream is really important, not just for kind of soothing and depuffing that delicate skin around our eyes, which is always the first to show when we're tired. It's also really important if you're going to be using concealer around your eyes because it will look so much more natural and so much more like skin if you use an eye cream first. Always using your ring finger to apply eye cream just very gently massage it into the orbital bone then I'm going to go straight in with moisturizer so here I'm using a really nice light fresh day cream again just like the eye cream this will make a huge difference to how makeup looks this one doesn't have an SPF so I am going to need to add that separately which I'll do in a second but it does mean that I can use the same moisturizer morning and night if I like just massaging this in and if you do find yourself with a few extra seconds give it a good massage in as well this will really help to get your skin glowing and hydrated before you even apply any makeup And that's it, the three most important skincare steps done. And now we're gonna do a super speedy, really natural face. Like I said earlier, for most of us, when we're tired, the first place to show it is that skin around our eyes. So I always like to brighten that up with some concealer first. Once it's nice and bright, I feel like I just need less makeup overall. So always starting with a tiny bit of concealer. But if like me, you feel like when you put concealer on, you can still see the darkness coming through. Have a little look at correctors, which tend to be peachy or pinky tones. They can't be worn on their own. They have to be worn with a concealer usually, but they do mean that you get maximum brightness. Here I've got just one eye done and you can see it completely lifts the one side of my face covering it with a little concealer here and again you can see just one eye done I think it's amazing that when I've popped a little bit of concealer on and I can no longer see my dark shadows I actually feel less tired too Okay, now for the rest of my face. So sometimes I think when we're tired, the temptation is to put on loads of foundation, just slap it on, cover as much as possible, but actually that can make us look tireder. So here I'm gonna be using a tinted moisturizer. I love a tinted moisturizer. They're so quick and easy. You can whack them on with your fingers and in general, they give a really lovely glow. This one has an SPF in it too, which is really important coming into spring and summer. They're often not the best coverage, but they just help to even everything out. Just massage in with your fingers and you are done. Of course, if you have any little blemishes or anything like that that you want to cover, you can do this now with some concealer. A little pop of blusher will always make us feel fresher and more awake. I'm using a cream blusher here in a nice neutral pink, just blending over the apple of my cheek. I'm not going to bother with lipstick today. I'm just going to use a nice tinted lip balm. I love these because they feel so nice and conditioning and soft, but they also give a hint of colour just enough to perk you up. And then I'm going to define my brows and my lashes. So brows might not be essential for you. I feel like they really are for me and they do frame our eyes. So if your eyebrows are particularly fair or need extra definition, it's worth spending a minute just popping some colour through them. Here I'm just using a powder in a pencil. And then, of course, finishing off with lashes. So I always curl my lashes just for a few seconds before applying mascara because it really helps to open up my eyes. And then going on with a gorgeous black eye-opening mascara, which always feels so good and it really does help to make us look and feel awake. 
that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. G has got loads more amazing sessions planned, so stay tuned for those. Thank you for having me and have a great day. Huge thanks to Disney Plus for helping us bring you the Happy Mum, Happy Baby virtual meetup. And if you like this, then there are so many more videos for you to watch and enjoy. Just head to happymumhappybaby.com to find out more. Enjoy!